Let's say we have an object like this rectangular prism and we want to round the corners. Well, we could use the bevel tool. So right now we are in object mode. We'll have to switch in to edit mode. So in edit mode, there are three different selection modes. There's the vertex selection mode where you can select on the points or the vertices. There's edge selection where you can select on the edges and there is face selection where you can select on the faces. So go into edge selection mode when we're in edit mode and select the edges that you want to uh, round off. So I'll select on these three edges. Actually, I'll select these four edges like so, because I'm gonna make I'm gonna round all of these corners on the outside. And then go to the bevel tool and you can find it right here. And now you have to follow these steps exactly here. So when I pull on this handle, it'll round off the corners and when I release my mouse, you'll notice there's this uh, dialog box here and that allows you to modify the bevel because right now it's kind of uh, just like a chamfer. Um, it's not rounded at all. So we'll have to add more segments. So you can see if I go to two segments, you can see there's two segments and so on and so forth. So I'll do 128 to make it high resolution. So you can see there are plenty of segments. Um, now if I click, that dialog box goes away and it never comes back. Um, unless you're doing a new uh, bevel. So you may be looking at this and you may be uh, noticing something uh, strange about it. Uh, and the uh, it looks kind of warped, stretched, or skewed a little bit. And that is because I didn't apply the scale of the object before adding the, uh, the before rounding the corner. So I'm gonna press uh, Control Z here and we go back into object mode. And if you select on your object, and if you notice the scale is not 111, then you'll need to apply the scale. And I usually use the keyboard shortcut, but I believe you could go up to here. Yes, you go to object, you go to apply, and you could apply the scale. So now you'll see that the scale is 111. And if we go back into edit mode, and we have all four uh, edges selected, we drag this here. You'll notice now it's adding the chamfer or the bevel uh, at a 45 degree. And now we can change the number of segments. Uh, once again, I'll do 128. And now we have perfectly rounded the corners of this object.